Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'll talk about Creed 3. Before I go into it, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button for more contents like this. If you're already subscribed, let's get into the video. In this film, Creed has retired from boxing but is forced to come out of retirement after an old friend threatens his legacy. And this film was directed by Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan plays Creed and he also directed this film. And this is the first film Michael B. Jordan ever directed. And you will never know, you can never ever know that this is a film from a first time director because this movie was so well directed. There were a lot of things that were in this film that just worked so well with it. And hearing that it was Michael B. Jordan that directed this film as a first time director, he just took the film to another level and he just made it much more impressive. I mean, Michael B. Jordan did a fantastic job directing this film. You can tell that Michael B. Jordan poured his heart into this film. Like, the directing, his acting also was just fantastic. You could see in everything how passionate he was about it. His passion doesn't come out screaming at you like that. But when you see how the film is directed and you see what he brings to it, and in his own performance, you just have to appreciate the passion in him. And this man did a fantastic job, both behind the camera and in front of the camera. And man, I really, really enjoyed Michael B. Jordan's performance in this film. Speaking of performance, his, his co-star, Jonathan Majors. Ah, I don't know what is to be said about Jonathan Majors again, because this guy is just, he's just fire. He's hot. <laughs> this guy is hot. He has been very prominent lately. He has been in almost everything lately, and his performances have just been fantastic. And this film also, his performance was fantastic. Like, his character is a character that... That has some rage in him. It's not like the rage was very obvious, but you could see it in him, in his performance, in the subtleties of his performance. You could see that this guy is holding a lot of things in him. And Jonathan Major just conveys that emotion so, so well. His performance was amazing. The fighting sequences involving him and his whole part in the film generally was just fantastic in it. He did a fantastic job. And I'm glad Jonathan Major was the one that was cast as this person in this role, in this film. Another thing that made this film so good was the chemistry between Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan. You would think they had a kind of relationship like that in real life, but they are just acting and it just draws you into the performance. And you're just like, wow, these guys are so good as actors and it's just mesmerizing watching them. And the tension between the characters was another thing that they did so well. The boxing sequences in this film were amazing. I mean, we've seen boxing movies a lot. We've seen tons of boxing movies. We've seen tons of boxing movies. But when a filmmaker can make the fight sequence feel different and unique, it's just an amazing thing. The fighting feels different from Creed 1 and Creed 2. When I say different, I don't mean as a bad thing. It feels different in a very good way. It's a very fresh, a very fresh take on boxing. There's a sequence where towards the ending of the film where they fight and the whole, the whole atmosphere just evaporated. And it was just the two fighters that were in the moment. And I was like... Wow, that is a brilliant thing to do because these guys are just in the moment. Some of them are in this thing together. They don't care about any other thing. This is just what they are in. And when everything just evaporates and it's just two of them and there's like a cage and that sequence was just mad. I didn't expect to see something like that. And it was so well done. My computer Jordan directing this film was a gem to this film, honestly. To think that it's a first time director and was able to achieve something like this is just amazing. I don't watch anime much. But I heard some of his influences on directing this film came from anime. So I, I, I couldn't tell. But if you, if you know the sequences or the parts of this film that were influenced by anime, drop it in the comment below and let me know. But man, those five sequences were amazing. Like, I found myself sitting on the edge of my seat just watching the five sequences. Like, I was so hooked with the five sequences. And I was like, damn, I didn't think this five sequences would be as good as this because the five sequences in the first Creed and the five sequences in the second Creed were so amazing. There's some one-shot fights that was like so amazing. So when I saw those things in those two movies, I was wondering how they were going to top it. But man, Michael B. Jordan topped it in this one. And to think that he's a new director, it just blows my mind even more. And it was amazing to watch, honestly. Man, I was so excited to see this film. And when I saw it, it did not let me down. This film was amazing and I enjoyed it from start to finish. Have you guys seen Creed 3? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. If this is your first time on my channel, my guy, what are you doing now? Subscribe to this channel for more contents like this. Thank you for sticking up to this time. See you in the next video. Cheers.